Hey guys, my name's Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So I have been adding to this brush pile over the last at least six months as I've cleaned out fence rows. And I'm done doing that in this location. So today I'm actually gonna try to burn this brush pile and get rid of it. But first thing I wanna do is I wanna take the tractor and see if I can actually pile this up and condense it a little bit. Right now it's probably at least 40 to 50 feet long. It's a little bit spread out. I'd like to try to get it piled high as I can before I light this on fire. Well, that ended up going way better than I thought. Got it all condensed into about a 20 foot diameter pile and we're about 10 foot tall. So we'll see if we can get this to burn. Well, I'm gonna try to get this started with five gallons of diesel fuel. It's uh, cheaper than kerosene, more readily available. Burns about the same. So here's where I'm gonna throw out the little disclaimer. By no means is this a tutorial or how to do. This is just what I'm doing. This is inherently dangerous. You should seek help from a professional and you should get approval from the proper authority. So to light this up, I've got my Big Max torch and then I've got it attached to a 20 pound propane tank. So see if we can get this burn. Just crack the valve a little bit. Then we can crank it up. I tried to burn this one other day and I didn't have any luck. I think today, definitely the day it's gonna work out. So it's slowly catching fire. It's about halfway through the brush pile right now. Just to kind of give you a sense, when I was setting this up, I was actually hearing thunder in the background. We're scheduled, or at least they're forecasting rain for today. Um, I don't know if it's really going to be that much, but it is misting a little bit right now. So that's kind of helping make sure everything around it's damp. But out here in the middle of this field, it's a good place to burn. All right, the fire's burning pretty good right now. It's pretty much all the way through. I think the big part of the flames is over. It'll just do more of a slower burn as it continues on. But just look on this side, it is coming through. It's coming through on this side. Boy, it is hot. And uh, that's the wind. You can tell that when I look at it from this angle, you can see that there's, it's really slight wind. It's actually not that windy. It's a pretty decent day to do this. And um, you can see that wind kind of going under there and uh, making some horizontal flames through here as it tunnels through. So before I ever came out here to burn this today, I did call the sheriff's department. And I, they have my name, my address, my phone number. They know I'm burning brush today. Or they know I'm burning it for like the next two days. It'll probably smolder for a while. And the 911 operator knows. So if anybody would happen to call this in, she's supposed to check with me first before ever dispatching any fire trucks. So no, make sure we don't get any false alarms. I'm gonna guess it's been burning now for about 20 minutes and you can see that it is fairly um, low fire now. It's not the big fire it was when it started, right? So it's, it's burning fairly calm. There's not a big flames, big smoke. So I think I'm to the point where I can walk away, just not very far away. I'm just gonna go over here to this barn and I just need to get a round bale and do a few things over here for the livestock while this burns. So it's within, you know, it's within 100, 150 feet away. I can still keep my eye on it. Well, it's definitely raining now, so I think I timed that perfectly getting that fire started. But I need to give the girls a little bit of hay and let them back in the barn. I was gonna end up bringing them around bale, but I'll just wait till tomorrow. 
fluff it up a little bit. All right, we'll let you guys all back in. There you go. I had them all out here in the pasture because I was bringing everything through the barnyard to be able to get out here and burn that pile. So now that it's raining, they definitely want back inside. Hi, Maya, you camera hog. What are you doing? Huh? At least I'll let you out back in the barn. Don't get mad at me. You're back in where it's dry. So a couple videos ago, I think eight days ago, I brought out these protein tubs. And you can see they've already, it's kind of probably hard to tell the depth, but they've already taken off. I'd say, you know, I've got cratered down at least four inches on each one. They, when you open them up in the morning, the first thing they do is they run out here and they start eating up on these protein tubs. So, yep, definitely should have done that a while ago. Oh crap, I ended up leaving this gate open. That's, I'm glad nobody ran out. And I had the electric fence off and laying on the ground so that I could walk back and forth fairly easy. So as we look at the pile now, it's mostly, you know, right here, we got a bunch of hedge posts over here and then we've got mostly a pile over here and it's not burning much in between, but it may not look like much, but it has a lot of heat in it. So these old hedge posts, which last forever, I know I'm going to catch a lot of grief because people don't think I should throw these away. Um, that would have been like five weekends of work trying to salvage these, get all the fence and everything off of them. And, um, but they burn like white hot and they will definitely keep this fire going even though it's raining. I'd say we give it at least probably a good hour and then we'll come back. We may take the tractor, try to consolidate that pile once again, get it all piled back up. I lost my GoPro camera. It's all burned up probably. I heard it. It's right in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. My GoPro fell off the tractor and luckily it fell like on the ground, not in the fire, but it was in a hot spot. I think it just shut down because it was too hot. I think it does feel rather warm. You can tell the screen Still looks good. The front still looks good. Keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully it still works. Now I will say that the ground was hot enough that it actually melted the rubber on this magnet. Well, it turned back on. It says that it turned off because it was uh, too hot. Yep. Looks like it still works though. I got the brush pile all pushed back up now and it's fairly tight i'd say we got into, into about a 10 foot diameter pile now and um, hopefully you guys can see all this wire i mean this is just all field fencing in here it's almost solid fencing now and then all of the coals and the posts and stuff are mostly at the bottom but with those hedge posts in there there is still a lot of heat in here so i think it will burn down quite a bit and then the fun part is when we get to come back and try to pick up all the fence and the metal and everything and get this all cleaned up. And um, I'm not for sure, we may even dig a hole here and anything that's left on the surface, like the charcoal and stuff like that, a lot of that we may just end up putting in a hole when we're done. But most of that metal we're gonna try to load up, take to the scrap yard. All right, let's just do a quick look at the grapple, make sure we didn't damage anything. I, I don't think we did. So the hydraulic hoses, they have this, it's almost like a, you know, a blue jean type material, you know, over the top of it, like a denim to protect it. And that all looks good. 
And I think the place that would melt would be like the lowest part, like right in here. And it's not melted either. So I don't see any damage to the grapple. So that's a good thing. So you may have noticed every time I pushed the brush pile today, I did it with the grapple closed. And that was to minimize how far these teeth stick out. And it gave me a nice smooth surface to be able to push with. And I, I did that to minimize getting the fence and the brush caught in the grapple. Um, and it seemed to work fairly well. It's not designed to be able to push probably with those closed, but um, you know, it's probably not the proper way of using it, but it actually worked out fairly well. So I'm really not a big fan of pushing a burning brush pile together with a tractor. It's not the right piece of equipment to use, but it's all I got. So um, I did my best to, you know, when I pushed it in to try to come right back out fairly quickly and not sit in that heat because there is hydraulic hoses and stuff up front that you could possibly damage. And I tried not to really roll the tires into where any of these hot coals may be laying in the ground. I think I actually did it once, but I got lucky and didn't damage anything. And that's probably a first because I normally usually break something when I do these jobs. Oh wait, I guess I did sort of break the GoPro a little bit. Not sure exactly what type of wood that is, but that's from the far end of that fence row that was just overgrown. That is some pretty crackly stuff, isn't it? But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. It's in as about as small a pile as I can get it, and it is just gonna take time to burn down. And I'll probably just have to let this sit for several days before it to cool down, and then we can finally get back in here and try to clean up all this metal and maybe we can do a, a video going to the scrap yard again. I do have quite a bit of metal that I've been gathering up that needs to go. So probably just do it all at the same time. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.